I am doing some another magic trick, and um, I have this uh, I have this like it's kind of like a story. It's like the Cinderella story or whatever. This well, it's just a story, okay? Oh, well, I guess I can do something else. So I want you to pick. Tell me exactly when to stop. Okay, I'm gonna rip it. Stop. Uh, let's say now, maybe you say you want to pick a different card. Okay. Two, two, and stop. So this is card. Remember that card, okay? I'm gonna put it right here, and then I'm gonna totally mix it up as much as I can. It's and you guys probably agree that it's all in there. So, watch this. This is a card. This is a card. This is a simple card. Yep, this is a simple card. So, it's a very, very simple trick. You guys might know how I did it, but I don't know about that. So, let's try it one more time. Stop. Uh, this is a card. Okay, I'm going to keep it on top. Mix it up as hard as much as I can. Okay, watch. You can get it wrong too. And it's right, you can get, actually do get it wrong. Alright. Complete it all the way in the middle. And you should agree to that, right? Do you agree to that? Right. So it's all in there, it's all in there. On the top, right again, eight of diamonds. It's your card. So let me show you how it's done. Very, very simple. You guys probably do know how I did it. I don't know. So you tell them, tell them when to stop. So say stop. You can um. So tell tell them to look at their card as well as they can. So six of diamonds, and you put it in the front, right? You put it, put it on the front, right? You put it right here, right? And what you do, you mix it up, but the card is still going to be here. So whenever you mix your cards up, you still um, want your card to be in front. So, say... You mix your card up. Mix all your cards up. Diamonds right here, so it's a very simple one. And then here's um a another card trick. So it's just like take a card and it's just not change. Take two cards, same thing. Turns into different. I already know you guys saw what I just did, but it's a cool trick. And it's better when you have a different color. So like this, it looks more better. Um, looks more better and yes that's the trick and you already guys i showed you a lot of it so go check out one of my other videos and there and i've done a lot of magic oh, magic so let me do it on the table let me do a coin trick One of the, one of my favorite tricks, so here's a coin, you want to check it out, it's real, it's not fake, it's pure metal, I can't, I can't bend it out. So you want to take a coin, you want to, take a coin, and you want to take a coin, you want to rub it, I'm just kidding, as well as you can. Oh, oh, so it's hard to you know, mix like, Increase and it goes in your skin, like it's all gone. It's in your skin, and then, um, that's nothing. Everything's here. It's, there's no like tricks, it's very simple. It takes like a only like a minute of time, and you literally just drop 
So when you, you want to go like, this is your coins, not fake. You can you can let them oh, you can let them touch it feels real, right? And then what you want to do when you're um over here, you want to drop it and then pretend that you have the coin. Go like, go like I'm gonna rub it through my skin, Ready? or I can do something. Like, you can do something. <laughs> you can just do something like um like that. It's just cool because you can do literally do anything. It just disappears. There's a great thing. The thing you really need to success it. The thing you need to really need to work on is don't make any noise and it's gonna be perfect. So watch. So you watch. Come and then you just go like just disappears, or you can just go like. You just throw it in your head. It's weird. Because, like, you can literally, literally do anything. Let's say you can go like. Hold on, hold on. Not, I just messed up. And you can go like. Just put it in your ear. Go like that. And then you can put your hands down, and then you can. You could palm the coin. Like, and then take it out. So like, you right. know how palming is no. just like this. This is more. So like, okay. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a dime. I'm gonna take a coin out of my, my ear. So like, so you throw it in that one ear. So you're like, then you're like, okay. So it's in my ear right now. It's coming out. Uh, the coin is in the this is a better way to do it. in my ear, and then go like this. You, you can go like this. Ah. 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 Take it to the Oh, well, you can just stuff it in your ear. And go like this. Look, I have a card, right? And then drop it or something. Like, watch. You can make a coin disappear. Oh, yeah. Can hide because you. It's like it's like making it's like making card disappear, but making coin disappear. So that's hard. What the heck? So here's the trick, my main trick I wanted to do. Um, like, it's one of my favorite tricks. Whoops. Oh, there's hair on this. You, know. you guys can barely see it. You guys can barely see it. You can see it? Oh, I don't think you can. Oh, come on. Right after that happens. You serious? Ah. Got full of the day. Most horrible state of my life. It's not horrible. Well, um, so you have this, right? Um, so what you, we're gonna be doing uh, is you're gonna be um, you're gonna be mixing the cards up, and I want to do a little bit of a setup. So you have to set up. Um, it's very cool. And if you already know what it is. I've done it in one of my um, tricks, but you might forget it, so just do it again. And then I'm gonna show you one of your tricks you can do at school. You can like it's very cool, and yeah. So um, if you do this at school, just gonna press friends, just gonna press your whole thing. You might be very cool and cool. Well, right now I am cool in my school because I do magic. I used to, I've been in the split class, I was in first grade, with second grade, there's like, I don't know, 25 people watching me do magic, and it was very cool, it was very scary, because I'm usually, um, I'm usually, uh, stage frighted, um, because if I ever do magic, um, I, like, I, I only show my cousins, and now it's like my first time doing an audience. So I want 
one of you guys pick a card and any of the card and just pick one. I don't want to. I don't want to see it here. Okay. And I know that card. Uh, don't worry about this. It doesn't need to do anything. So I'm gonna split the pile over here, and I'm do. I'm gonna put it, this card in the middle. So there's like literally no way of finding the card. So I'm gonna go drop it and spread it, spread it everywhere. And this first card I I might pick up for the few cards I will find. I will look at. I will suspect. I will see how what it is. And. Let's look at this one. Is this your card? Yep, it's your card. Wanna know how to do it? Well, it's a little bit of a cool setup. It's a hard setup. It takes a little bit of time to set it up. But you it will there's no sleight of um, hand trick. It's only like a simple card trick. And you have to know what color you're doing. So this is all black, right? You only have one red, so that's how you know. It's magical. Always magical. Stay magical. Subscribe to this. Oh, it's been approximately 11 minutes. 11 minutes. So, so, and this is all red. So when you put it together, you already probably know already know what to do, because this this is black. This is red. Tell them to pick one. Tell them to pick one on the top because you know that all of these are red. And so let's say you pick this one uh, in case this is the six of hearts. And then what do you want to do? Take all the red cards and put them on the side. And you say, don't worry about those. Those just do, don't have to do anything to the trick. So you put their card, tell them to put the card in the middle of the deck. And in the middle of the deck, uh, say right about, maybe like right here. Maybe like, yeah, right here. So, and then you want to say, I'm going to mix it up. And then you, go, you mix it up. I just mix it up, let them mix it up a little bit so you... You know that they're uh, t that you you they're actually you're telling them, they're telling you the real trick and it's, yeah and then once done you want to look for a red card um it's nine diamonds hearts it's right here that's how you find the card and here's the Here's the other. There's uh, there's this other one that's no has no setup. It's very easy. I have to know. Okay, so I want you to find nine of heart. Numbers. So let's say you pick this one. So now you have to pick king of hearts. Pick. I'm gonna pick eight of diamonds. And yeah, so watch this. It's gonna be cool. You pick random, randomly, randomly, randomly. You pick nine of hearts, king of hearts, and then you pick eight of diamonds. So that's a cool trick. I um, want to know how it's done. You can do this in school, but your cards are gonna might get a little bit dirty because you have to do it on the floor. It's just a very cool trick, and you want to know how to do it. There's this main key you want to know. And the key to this trick is you want to know the uh, you want to know the last card. And this is nine of diamonds in this case. 
Or you can just mix it up a little bit if you don't want the thing. So it's nine of hearts. Or seven hearts. Why did I say that? Nine, seven hearts. So you want to know where your seven of hearts is. So tell them to pick. Tell them to pick. Uh, seven of hearts. Let's say they pick a random card. Tell them to pick. Jack of Clovers. Then they pick this card. And then tell them to pick. And then you're going to say, I'm going to pick four of Clovers. And then seven of hearts. We'll pick seven of hearts. Jack of Clovers. Four of spades. So this is a very cool trick. You can show your friends. And here's, I have one more trick. And it's representing uh, the last trick of the day. It's, my, it's representing all of my tricks because I use in this um, move I use all of this trick is in all of my tricks. So it's, it's been helping me every every um, single magic trick I make. So, so let's say, let's say, um, stop, stop. Um, this is your card, two of clovers. So, if you don't want, okay, I'll restart if you don't want me to. Okay, you're fine, so. Uh, this is your card, I want you to remember your card, okay? You see your card? Okay, so look at it longer, because I want you to know what the card is. Right. So um, I want to. Ch um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this, and the card is gonna disappear. Ready? Watch. The card has disappeared. So now this card. I know what your card is. This card. It's a. Uh, it's a cool trick, and I wanted to show you because I made this trick up. The helps me in a lot of my tricks. So what you want to do, let them, and there's no setup, so it's good too. So let them tell, tell you want to do like a ruffle if you want. You can do something else called like, tell them, tell them to stop, and then you keep on doing it, and they say stop. And then it's a seven and a covers, uh, covers, and you want to go like, watch out. Your card is going to disappear. When I turn it ready, so you go like, and then you want to turn all the cards except this one. So, this is all the cards that are turned, so you want to turn it backwards, and you want to go like this, and then when it's there, you want to while you're doing that, you want to keep this one facing this way, and all the other cards are going to be facing this way, except for this one, too. So, this and this, this card. And this card is going to be facing the opposite way, direction of what you're doing. So what you're doing, you're going to turn the card backwards so right, they don't know. So you want to keep it like this. And you turn it while you while you want to show them it's this angle, right? Because you want to, when you bend it, you want to, when you turn it this way, you bend it and then it flicks back. You want to bend it, it flicks back. You bend it. it Licks back and then it completely disappears. So, so your card is seven of uh, card seven of clovers. This is I'm not gonna do this because I'm just gonna do it. This is what you're doing. Holding the card with four of your fingers, or you can just do two of your fingers or three. Four is fine for me. And then you want to uh, bend this back and then let go. And then it flips back as fast as you can go. So if you want to go, go really fast, you can, you can go like, uh, hold on. You can just let go when you want, and it just disappears. Uh, and you don't even have to move it like this. You don't have to do this. And it's gone. You can just do this. You can just do like, it's gone. And it just disappears. Because you're going as fast as you can. Because you're getting a head start. Getting a head start. From here, so it's going like it's gone, and then it's just right here. So, um, this is like a one of my favorite tricks, and 
I made a trick up. It's like my favorite trick. It's like the best tricks out of all my tricks. <laughs> Fucking tricks. Yeah, it's, you should try this and show your friends. And it's been 20 minutes. So I'm going to end it right here. Please subscribe. Leave a like to my channel. Sorry that this video was very long. I just wanted to teach you every single trick I pretty much know. So, like, this trick. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I show you a lot of my tricks. I always put tutorials in my tricks. And right, I love the way you guys um, help me. Usually you don't. But it, and yeah. So I put this video. I don't know why. It's called This Video is Boring. Don't click on this video. I don't know. I pressed, did it. And I showed a, I showed a video of my cousins doing music. <laughs> and he says, stop, don't do that, you know that's me. And I put that on YouTube, but I think they're going to get mad at me. Because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to put it on YouTube. I'm sorry. Gosh, and if they actually, if they actually watch my videos at home, they're gonna, I'm going to get busted. So yeah, so leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Oh, peace out.